All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. We, we're, but we're running out of daily duels, people. This is episode 992. All right, so including this episode, you have eight. After this, seven. We are running out of time. As I said the upcoming big grand finale live stream. Uh, it will be on November 2nd, and with that, uh, I'm wondering if you guys can actually make it. It's going to be a little bit longer than the, the usual time live stream double the, the time. So it's going to be from 8 a.m. Pacific time to 12 p.m. Pacific time. And then take it and upload it by 2 p.m. And bam, that's it. Daily Duels is over. So uh, hopefully you guys can go ahead and uh, make it. I'd be very appreciative if you guys could. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun on the button. So that's good. That's good. It's good. Uh, which one's King Golem? King Golem's the, the amazing one that summons from my hand. So yeah, one of the greatest thing to summon. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just rock stun it a little bit. So a uh, real rock monster in your hand? Sure, I think I'll go ahead and reveal block golem. Because it doesn't give away if I'm playing Tramets or not. Well, you know. I mean, yeah, block golem. Block golem, block dragon, block, 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 block. Like, we already know. Uh, anyway, I'm... I'm... <laughs> Alright, so you're going to go ahead and pitch him to some... I might just go ahead and say that's okay. The problem is that I have no fucking way of dealing with a blue eyes. Like... Blue Eyes is way too fucking strong for me. I have some of this card. Banishing three rock monsters? Wow, and I would still not be strong enough. Like, I kind of want to stop you, and I already know that I'm playing... I mean, I've got, I'm going against a guy named Master Duel. Because you, you'll go, you'll take a Swift Neg, and that's nice. You'll take a Swift Neg, but... He's going to summon the Blue Eyes with broken ancient-ass fucking White Stone. Because it's probably the most broken Blue Eyes card in the deck. It really is. Like, alternative... I thought at first it was going to be alternative. Turn is not that bad. But this card, just... But all of its effects are good. It's a level 1 tuner. It, it can be pitched with your card of confidence. It summons from the deck. It, it can grab back. Like, it's just so fucking good. Like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> so... At the top of my mind, I just don't know how I'm going to deal with the blue eyes. <laughs> like, how? 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 I mean, that's one of the great things about blue eyes. He could summon a fucking giant-ass monster on the top of it. You know, just boop. There you go. So, I don't know. Uh, I guess I can activate Cruiser. Then I can summon Dancer. And then Dancer can... It summons from the hand deck or Gravy, all right? Yeah, hand or Gravy. Well, not deck. Hand or Gravy. So I can just pitch the block goal with my... Uh, additional draw and send. Uh, then this can tag out for like a different spell spell. It really doesn't matter. And then I can search for uh, Sphinx and then when you kill my dancer I can get my Sphinx effect. So <coughs> outside of that, I mean, I, of course I don't think I'm going to win this duel. Like wh whoever thought that tra that Tramons are good, right? <laughs> like, if, you, if you think Tramons are good then you should leave right now because they are not good. <laughs> uh, at least I got to Got deeper into my deck so I get that nice uh sound like Bugglem's good, it's just a little slow. Like Like next turn he'll be it'll be good. I can summon Block Golem, tribute it off, and I can summon my back my guardian and I can summon my dancer, so that's that's pretty decent. Yeah. So like I, said, I could I guess I could switch out now and then get the search now, and then this could switch out for a different uh uh a different what's it called? A different field spell. Like, I guess the more names I get, the better. <laughs> but, no. Uh, my chance of winning is doing that. Anyway, I'm doing... Ugh. Like, I hate this course. I, I, I've probably been complaining about this course for, like, the last month. Because I've been in this course for the last month. This is probably the worst course that I've taken uh, at National. Like, I don't like the concept. I don't like the workload. I hate the professor. Like, the professor could suck my fucking dick dry. Like, I swear to Christ, she could slob on my knob. Holy crap. Like, corn on the cob. I cannot stand that lady. Uh, what's going on in the graveyard? Oh, Black Dragon. He's like, hey, I can get summoned now because you have enough targets, but nah, later. Uh, and then I guess this one can tag out and then summon me uh, my Sphinx, and then you can attack my Sphinx, and then he'll be strong, hopefully. I think he'll be I think he'll be stronger than your blue eyes, at least, so. That's it. As long as I'm a little bit stronger than Blue Eyes, then I guess it's not terrible. And if you want to, like, overextend or something, I might be able to stop you. Like, if you try XC Summon or Synchro Summon, I got the warning, so that's nice. No, my luck, you'll probably just have a Twin Twitch. No, you're just going to enter Battle Phase and come after my ass. Like, alright. So, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and use my effect. So, get rid of that. And, uh, like I said, I guess I could get Fortress, which would be another fill spell. But this one's just kind of lame. Like, it really is. Like, Fortress is the worst. 
Fortress is the worst. But at least if I pop Fortress, then I can go ahead and get Sphinx a little bit stronger. So that will go off some of me charming muscle from my hand, which would be Sphinx, and then Sphinx would be like, BAM! Get over that. 35, my nigga. 35. So you cannot tax my uh, dancer anymore. You have to attack my big daddy Sphinx. That's one way to handle blue eyes. <laughs> that's, uh, like I said, that's one way. Wow, he's just gonna go for it. Like, isn't the field changed? Oh, you're gonna fiendish chain me. Oh, who the fuck? Who the fuck plays fiendish chain? All right, all right. Like I said, who the fuck plays fiendish chain? This guy's playing fucking top tier shit. Blue eyes plays fiendish chain. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Ah. Uh, I could I could summon block dragon, but I guess there's really no point. I can boost her. <laughs> she can get her dance on. Uh I could go into Gorgonic Guardian. Yeah, I don't have to chip it off. I can just go into Gorgonic Guardian. Gorgonic Guardian can handle the blue eyes. Cause it doesn't really seem like he has too much of anything else, or maybe he doesn't want to do any to anything anything else. You could target one target monster gave right add it to your hand. That's actually pretty good. Fortress is actually legitimately good right now. Hmm. I do have Call of the Haunted, so I could make a Gorgonic Guardian and then Call of the Haunted the Dancer, and then if he tries to go after Dancer, Dancer pops the Fortress, which would give me back my Sphinx and put something else, and then you kill my Dancer and then get fucked up, so. Yeah, yeah. Clear the war. I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, but like I said, it, it's gonna be a tough one. I mean, this man's running fucking Fiendish Chain, people! Fiendish motherfucking Chain! Sound strike or warning or another fiendish chain? Strike. All right, that's what I thought. I thought so. I thought so. Why wouldn't you have the strike, right? Why, why, why wouldn't he have the strike? Ah, <laughs> uh, solemn strike. That card is so stupid at multiples. It really is. I kind of want to just activate... Activate Call of Haunted, something back Charming Dancer. Like, I'm starting to run out of resources now while he's just building up, so... So he's gonna go ahead and attack. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my effect again. Attack out my fortress. I'm gonna put King, because King's an Armady, so that's awesome. And then Fortress will grab me back to my Sphinx. So you can attack again if you want, but I'm gonna summon the Sphinx. And the Sphinx is oh, the field wasn't changed, right? The field wasn't changed. So Big Daddy Sphinx. Let's go. Oh <laughs> Big Daddy Sphinx is here, my dog. Uh I had to do this is recorded ahead of time. This is actually recording Thursday because on Friday I'm gonna be Friday morning I'm gonna be busy. I gotta go down to this elementary school from uh, nine through eleven and observe some special education children because that's the thing that I totally have to do. Yep. So I said it really doesn't matter too much what I do right now. Yay, gospel! That card's totally mm, a a one grade A great Yu-Gi-Oh card. Thank you, Kamani. So you're gonna exceed these two into something. This card, when it attacks, period, this card, is, this card attacks or is attacked. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not worrying that. <laughs> yeah, that was never summoned. <laughs> you can't block, block it with gospel, so that's nice. Be nice if maybe if I uh, could potentially draw into something. All right, I'll grab your blue eyes back. You got alternative. Alternative would suck. Now he's gonna trade in again. Yeah, grab put put the blue eyes back and trade it and get deeper into your deck. Might be even deeper shit. Uh, well, this is our matey, so that's nice. Like, I don't really care if he's hitting multiple background. <laughs> so, let me just go ahead and enter battle. Oh yeah, I could end this duel. I could. Wait, block dragon... No. One, two, three. I could. But there's a pretty good chance that he'll have something. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh... Is it just Earth Monsters or China Monsters? If you China Monsters, you control battles. Your opponent can I? Yeah. So, like I said, I'll just take it slow. Thanks, attack! Man, there goes a chunk. You only got 2,000 life points left, boy. My dog. I bet he, I bet he would love to fucking fuck me up, but nope. This is our mateys. <laughs> 4,500 big old strong mateys. <laughs> Get my boss boss for Sphinx, boys. Oh, okay. Is this that red eyes, blue eyes shit? It is. Like, wow. Red eyes, blue eyes, people. Yep. 
the fuck is this? I've never seen this card before. I've never seen this card before. Target one face of monster has its effects negated of the its attack is hacked. Wow, okay. So it's kinda of like a weird fiendish chain. Your opponent special summons a monster from the extra card is cut in a great you can set this card and banish it with least feel. Never never seen this card in my fucking life. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, Black Dragon, do you, like, do anything? <laughs> like, don't I just summon you? And if this card would be destroyed, this card is set from the field to the grave, I can add three rock monsters. <sighs> I mean, like I said, I could probably go for game, but I don't know. Like, like, bewildering wind, like, okay, just fucks me up. Have me permanently and fucking negated my shit. Like, oh, thank you. You want a striker wanting it? Bottomless. Can this card not be shown on card effect? Hmm. This is by banishing blah 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 blah. I suppose another way. Rock type monsters you control cannot be destroyed except by battle. Ah. Except by battle, my nig. Except by battle. You can't destroy my rock monsters except by battle. You're running out of resources, sir. Is that game? Can't be destroyed sure by battle. I mean, can't be destroyed sure by card effect. Get out of here. Bam. Game. I actually beat Blue Eyes. I mean, it wasn't the greatest Blue Eyes, but hey, I beat it. Now, if I was like drowning or quaking, that would have worked. But because it was just regular Mirror Force, he got fucked. So, GG. He beat Blue Eyes. All right, we're getting our dual bear back. Uh, so, uh, like I said, she got me to be able to observe in school. And I've been calling the school every day, trying to get in contact, trying to set up. And finally call on Thursday and finally got in contact with the teacher. She's like, yeah, you can come in tomorrow. So thank Christ that I'm actually able to come in. And that was it starting to piss me off that I wasn't able to uh, do the things that I really wanted to do. So, wow, I can really get set up. So I got King going. Wow, I can like, I can, I can get super set up. I can get super set up. I can get Cruiser. The question is, do I want to just do Overload and take it slow, or do I want to do actually my, my Tramic Plates? I think I'll actually do my Tramic Plates. Because I gotta create Cruiser, and get rid of Cruiser for King Gold, and then that will get me a search, and I get two normal summons. You know? Actually, it might be best to do the normal first summon, normal summon of Hunter first. Yeah. Because then I get to draw and discard. Not sure what I want to draw and discard, but it'd be nice just to see. Going against a guy who has no extra deck at all. 40 card deck, but no extra deck. So, might be something kind of sacky, but you already know I have a built in Armadies with uh, King Dome, so that's nice. So, we can go ahead and summon Hunter. Summon Hunter, gain 500, draw a card, discard a card. The, the next card I get it has to be really good, because I kind of want all three of these cards in my hand. I mean, Block Golem's kind of eh. Yeah. He's just kind of slow. Another overload? Yeah, I'll pitch another overload, because I can just... And when I summon this overload, I guess I can summon him now, but I, I'm gonna go get me another Tramit monster, because I can set up my plays. Because I can switch this out, and then switch out... Switch this out for uh, another cruiser, and then cruiser can switch out for something else, get to search for the screen, so... You know, we're all good. So I'm gonna get Dancer, because Dancer can go ahead and put back and increase my attack by 500 and attack defense. It's not terrible. Yeah, Hunter getting a little bit stronger. It's, not, it's never terrible. So get that additional normal summon. And Dancer do your thing. Dance it up. Max C. Cool start, bro. <laughs> cool start, bro. Bro. <laughs> Wasn't even going to special. <laughs> My snake. <laughs> my snake. <laughs> That's way my effect. Return. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> nice snake. <laughs> he was like, Max, see, you're gonna exceed in the Gorgana Guardian. Like, nah. <laughs> now watch him just have Regeki. Watch. Oh shit, it's Dark Worlds. Oh, well, this will be fun. And by fun, I mean not at all. Uh, I said it really doesn't matter. What I do at this point? I don't have to try to do try my monster. Just as one try my monster for me. I don't have a try my monster in my hand, so I guess I'll just go ahead and switch out and then switch out again. So 
when you switch out for cruiser, then cruiser will switch. Hunter will switch out cruiser for probably another king bone. Yay, dark worlds. <laughs> this would be fun. Oh, he sent Grapha. All right. Um, kind of want you. You're kind of like. You, I guess I could just literally summon the block golem and then summon the two overloads next turn. Does it be with different names? No. No. So Grapha target. I'm holding, I'm holding the air button, so I can go ahead and chain. Yeah, I thought you were going to do that. Yes. Activate. Tag that cruiser out. For a different field spell. Uh, I guess the Armadies one is nice. I love me some uh, King Golem. And then this will go ahead and search me for Sphinx. So, Dark Worlds. Interesting. No extra deck? I mean... Really? Alright. Go ahead and do your skillless play up. Summon a Dark World. Return a Dark World. Summon Grapha. Woo! Oh, he did have the Regeki the entire fucking time? Alright, fuck boy. Alright. Alright. Like, he actually legitimately had the Regeki and he didn't even fucking play it. Like. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon this 4,000 monster. How's that sound? And I got our mateys. And I got our mateys. So. So, he just didn't get any Dark Worlds. Like, god damn, I feel so, I kind of feel, I kind of feel bad for him. I kind of feel bad for him. Especially since I could just go Block Goal and Tribute and then summon back my two Overloads who will stop summons. So I could just stop your normal summon for your fucking return shit. Like, nah, you know? Like, I, I legitimately feel bad for him. Like, he's playing Dark Worlds and didn't get any other Dark Worlds besides Grapha. So you can go ahead and take, catch this 4,000, half your life point. Half! And then we'll summon Black Golem in the main phase two and then tribute off. If you want to do anything to him, do it. I don't really care. <laughs> like, I legitimately don't care. Ooh, I mean, that kind of sucks. Do I tribute for cost? You can tribute this card. Let's start. You can tribute this card to target blah, 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 blah. Except for Black Golem. I think I tribute for cost. I mean, fuck it. I mean, I, I don't really care anyway. Let me see if it actually works. So I think these guys also tribute to, to uh, negate as well. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Wow. Skill drain, vanity's emptiness, regeki. The goddamn number generator. You need to calm the fuck down. That's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I'm legitimately wondering what you're going to top deck. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, we'll get that duel. Bear back. All right, back in that duel. So, this course is almost over. I'm glad, but I hate this fucking course. Like, oh, my God. I'm not going to get an A in this course. I am not. Like, her curve fucking sucks. She fucking sucks. And I'm just going to get... I'm, I'm just fucked out of an A. You know? And... You know, generally, you guys are in school. You got been in school. What's an A minus? You say 92, 93, A minus. Her fucking class is 95 percent. 95 fucking percent of A minus. Oh, fuck you. You know, so that's uh, it's already more difficult than it would usually be. But she takes out points on for every little thing. Like they'll be like, oh, you got some grammatical errors. Take off points. Take off points. Take off points. Take off points. It's like as long as I'm getting my my point across, does it really matter that? I made any grammatical errors, like really, you know? So, just, just fuck me, just fuck me. That's, that's pretty much how I feel. So, I'll go ahead and summon that. Uh, and I guess I'll go ahead and reveal the block golem, I guess. Yeah, there you go, there's block golem. He said overload's so good. 1900 beater that attribute to stop summons, summons? like. That makes Solemn Morning one Solemn Morning a really great card because it stops summons. <laughs> I'm warning that. No. Alright. But this card is sent to the graveyard, right? I I can't I can't stop any of that. I I couldn't do anything. Like wow. Go ahead and set your revival cards, and then you're gonna flip it up, and then I can't special summon GG, right? 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 
that's the that's the plan, right? Like, wow. My hand opening hand isn't that great either. I, I guess I could special summon block dragon. But this is a call haunted for a Christie. I already I already know it, so. So you know what? At least this is an inherent summon, so I could do this and then there's not really much he can respond to. Wow, like, it's like, can I stop that summon? No. Can I stop that summon? No. Can I stop that summon? Like, I had literally had two solemn warnings and I couldn't stop neither one of them. Like, alright. Alright. I'm just sitting here like a sitting duck. It's not too much I can really do right now. No. Wow. Who, one, who the plug plays Lightning Vortex? And two, no, because this card, what happens with this card? If this is a card be sent from the field to the graveyard. But if I stop its inherent summon, it was never summoned, right? I think that's how it would work. Or is it just this face up card in the field? Because it never hit the yeah, I'm saying technically never hit the field. I stopped its summon. So good. Uh and there's not too much I could do. Be nice if he activated this effect again, but he would he's probably just gonna attack over me. Like this it, that weird moment when Guardian was actually better than Overload because he just did things that <laughs> warning and uh, uh, and uh, Overload couldn't stop. Like, all right, uh, I don't really have anything. I'm just gonna kind of sit here and twiddle my thumbs. Like, you wanna go ahead and call the Haunted Oasis or whatever your Christia? Like, I guess I can just sit on my blunt golem booty for a little while. Good thing I can't be destroyed by card effects, because that lightning vortex would have blew me back, but nope. Can only destroy me with battle. And I have a nice 3,000 booty. Yep, saw it coming. I mean, I personally don't like you doing that, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? So that could summon and then Superbia will be like, hey, I wanna summon. What do you want to summon? What's your target? Alright, tell me about some once per turn, you can send one face up here, you want to control it, okay, I slap him here, I'm gonna be alright, so I'm just gonna warn him that, I'm just gonna warn him. So that's one revival card down, he was just gonna do more plays, more plays, like, I'm just running out of resources and life points, it's totally great, it's totally what I want. It's monster and it's all blah, but Tremon, has to be a Tremon monster, that sucks. <laughs> Has to be a Tremon monster. If it didn't have to be a Tremon monster, it might have been okay. But no, it does, so. Ugh. I feel like he's gonna break out of this sooner or later, and I'm gonna be fucked. I got Sphinx, that's nice. So, I can get like a Tremon monster. Get summon Sphinx, and he might be stronger. Might be. That's the key word, might. <laughs> so. No, everything, everything. She takes off points for Grammatical Error. She takes off points for... Because she doesn't like my formatting. Like, literally. Assignment 1. She... Keep in mind, she didn't do anything or didn't really be a professor, grade, paper, do anything until the end of the third week. So, pretty much 75% done with the class. By then, I've already done assignments 1, 2, 3. I did assignment 1. Didn't get any feedback because, of course, she didn't grade anything. And then did formatted my... Assignments two and three, just like assignment one, because why not, right? Apparently, she didn't like the formatting for one, so she took off points. So, guess what that means? She's gonna take off points on two and three because I didn't get the appropriate time for feedback to be able to make the corrections. Like, fuck her. Just fuck her. Like, she is the worst professor that I've had. I just give up, you know? I, ha I had a 4.0, I had one, you know? So, I'm just gonna shoot for. I mean, the good thing about the whole system is that. You know, A is it's what sucks. A is separate from A minus. There's actually a legitimately GPA difference. The good thing is, is that B plus is different from you know B and B minus. So you know, I could possibly get an A minus B plus. And, you know, I mean, my G, my GPA doesn't really matter too much. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think, I could just go into like a rank four play next turn because I have Call of the Haunted. So I can like Call of the Haunted, go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning, run that bitch ass over. So, that might be good, as long as I kind of just sit here on this block dragon that he can't deal with. Yeah. Problem with that is that I won't be able to use block golem anymore, but... Do I even have any targets? Oh, I thought I did. Thought I did. Oh, well, I guess I'll go ahead and, like, set this. 
Why not? Thought I had a target, but nope, I banished them all. <laughs> I didn't have a target in my grandfather called the Haunted. This guy's just kind of sitting there. And so he's building up resources. So I know he's going to have some plays in the future, but we're just kind of sitting here. So, I mean, I guess I'll just call the Haunted and summon going to Utopia, Utopia Lightning. Wow, I think this is legitimately dead. Oh no, I still got one more. I'd say. Like, because I think I drew them all. Instead of drawing my fucking Trapman Monsters, I've been drawing my fucking uh, Clacky Mirrors. Like, it's a fucking epidemic, this bitch, but... We might be able to go into Utopia the Topia Lightning, and that, that would be nice. That would be very nice. But he has three fucking back rows, so... I wouldn't be surprised if he just ends up stopping me from summoning soon. They'd probably just be like, yeah, Christia. And I'll be like, yeah, call the Hunted Christia, but ooh, okay. Waiting for me to do a normal summon? Call the Hunted Christia? No. I mean, there's something back there, but... There's something back there. There it is. I mean... I mean, the end, the end result's kind of the same. <laughs> I, I just really wanted to get rid of that. I mean, of course I should have... Well, Diamond Core didn't really matter. Core 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 Oh, I guess I could activate cruiser and then place the cruiser with the cruiser and do that. Get a search. Search a Tramid monster. Legitimately this time. So I could go to attack mode with Black Dragon too. Uh, 3,000 booty is nice, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just goes Call the Haunted. And then summons like Athena. Like, I, I actually legitimately think that me staying in defense mode with this Black Dragon is actually saving my ass, so. Yeah, 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 activate a cruiser on top of a cruiser just so I can get that search. Uh, get me map. Uh, Hunter. Hunter's the best one. And I'm pretty much done. I caught that TT, but, uh, with a nice block dragon. Can't be sure of card effects. That's cool. That's awesome. So, like I said, I, I, I give up. I give up. I give up on trying to get an A. I, 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 there's no way. There's no way. She's taking off points off of everything. I took my final exam. I didn't even get 100% on that. Like, so I got, like, maybe, like, an 80 or something like that. Not terrible. I cheated. No, you know. <laughs> I mean, if she ever says anything, this card can't be short battle, and this card can't be short by card effect. Yay, cool. So that should be fun on the button to deal with. So I can, I can normal summon hunter, draw, do all them plays, them cute plays. So we starting to gain some light points back. I've been playing a shit ton of light points. Uh, I'm thinking the overload because I kind of want to keep everything else. I just gotta figure out how to deal with this fucker. Like, he he's the fuckwad. This guy right here, the one that can't be destroyed by uh by battle. Cause that's generally how I handle things up in this duel. I don't need you. Uh, I can go ahead and activate you. Turn you to increase. And at least this is stronger than this, so that works. Still really nothing for me to do. Like, this duel is just kind of here. So kill this guy. Why not? Training shield. Sure. Didn't know it was really that important for you to gain life points. Not at all. I, I could cast Del in a way, if I can special summon, but, I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Fucking diamond cords are just going off in the graveyard. Like, hey, hey, we can block. Like, fucking useless. <laughs> so, now the question is, what do I want to do now? I could go ahead and dancer one last time, get a search. Why not? Why not? Um, King Golem. Yep, King Golem, because I'm about to do our Mady's place. I mean, I'm Dancer's still not strong enough, so it's not like I'm going to survive the attack, but... <sighs> it was a good try anyway. <laughs> oh, Master can start popping shit, though. I can just send a face-up Tramid card, pop. It's not terrible, but... I mean, it is the best one to grab right now. Unless I grab another dancer and just continue boosting. Yeah, I'll grab another dancer. Let's continue boosting. I'll figure out a way to handle the situation. 
also kind of sucks that I'm lower on uh, cards and decks. I can't even like stall him out. I had to do something eventually, right? Eventually, I can get I can get hella motherfucking strong, hella motherfucking strong, but can't really do anything versus this token. So, so we can go ahead and just put a cruiser back, and everybody gain another five hundred. Yay! Boom! Boom! Look at us. We fucking we fucking ripped, boys. We fucking beefcake boys up in this bitch. Run that over. Or maybe it's a fact. You can't do shit. Like, I feel like this duel is going to last a lot longer than it should. It's because of this token. Like, I got to figure out a way to handle this token. And then avoid all this back row. Like, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, if it... If... Handling tokens? That's pretty fine. I can just, you know, make an extra deck monster. I mean, Castell handle it, right? But it's kind of difficult to do that when there's back row staring me down. Ready to fucking shoot me. So... I wouldn't be surprised if this man literally just sits there on that fucking token. Like, <laughs> like yay, fucking the token. Wow. Who the fuck plays Ghost of the Grudge? Alright. Alright, well, that sucks. That sucks real hard. Real hard. God, that sucks. That sucks real fucking hard. Who the fuck plays that card? Like, I'm literally running into fucking shit where it's like, who the fuck plays that card? Who the fuck plays this card? Who the fuck plays that card? So, awesome. Awesome. Uh, this card is something I supposed to summon one charming monster from your hand. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Ah. Uh. I mean, like I said, I'm not fucked. Not fucked. Definitely not fucked. I can still, still do things. It's just, what am I doing? <laughs> I can at least start getting my attack back. I just wish you could be destroyed by battle. I hate that you cannot be destroyed by battle. Shit pisses me off so much. So much. Torrential Tribute, my Utopia, so I guess I could go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning, but you still can't be destroyed by battle, so. <laughs> and, and then he'll just turn back to defense mode anyway, so I think it might just be best just to summon one of my uh, Kakamira monsters. It'll at least be nice and strong. That's nice. I could Berg Sword him. I could attempt to Berg Sword him. Time to break sort this. Should we try it? Fuck it, what do we got to lose? I got fucking another call of the haunted. Like, what, what do I got to lose, right? I got call of the haunted. They aren't doing anything anymore. So. Like, this card's the big problem card. That's nice. So. Was this equipped to this? Was it? Oh yeah, it was, but then I got well, I almost fucked up there. Thank you, Blackbone, for fucking saving my bacon. And you know what? I kinda feel like I don't want to attack now. <laughs> like, these must be traps that can like block attacks and shit. Like. I mean we'll try for it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like more draining shields and shit like that. Penetrable attack. Who the fuck plays that? Okay, so what does it do? No battle phase activate one, sex for the one, blah blah blah, or take no battle damage. Okay, that's fun. I said I'll, I'll do something eventually, I guess. Go ahead. Yeah, can't be destroyed. Can't be destroyed. Block dragon. Block dragon. Well, I mean, I had. Wait, why did I activate Diamond Core? I couldn't be destroyed. I keep on forgetting that Rock Monsters just cannot be destroyed by card effect. Like, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yay, Valhalla. 
At least I know what I'm gonna pop next time. If I get it next time. I'm not gonna get it next time. Oh my god, this inherent summon's fucking me up! Nah, no, that's fine. I'll take it. The Tramid monster battle sentence are maybe's effect. Okay. Uh This duel. This duel is going on for way too motherfucking long. Like, holy shit. Uh, I mean, I could summon Master, and then Master can return. Send one face up, card to control it better, and target one set card on the field, destroy it. So, do that. And first, I just want to break sword and pop that Valhalla, because that's going to get real annoying real quick. <laughs> I can just turn the break sword defense on and kind of take it slow. I can call the haunted. What's this do? Summon one from my hand. I kind of want to just summon back my dancer and dancer do things and, and then master do things. So, so I, can, I can summon master and dancer. Dancer can tag out golem and then golem can tag out. Well, first I need to get the search, so pretty much I could just tag out Golem into Cruiser, and then Cruiser can tag out into something else, probably another Golem, and then get me another Sphinx, and then after that I should be okay. So I, I actually, I think that's pretty legitimate that if I do both of those things. I mean, I do have the Solemn Strike if he thinks... Oh, well, I mean, he's not going to have to be Dark Horse Battle Strike, he'll just attack. Yeah, he'll just attack. Oh, I'll just wait till you go in main phase one. This duel is lasting a long time. Like if I pull this if I pull this off, then that'd be pretty cool. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Kinda wanted that, but now I'm just gonna die. I might as well tag it out. No. Cruiser. I got a little bit weaker. I lost some life point for that. But you know what? Still sitting okay. This block dragon has literally been sitting here the entire duel. Like, that's amazing. I mean, if you want to activate Dark Lord's Arado effect, that's fine. My Brick Sword wasn't doing shit anyway. Block dragon can't die, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Ugh. Really? He has exactly three? Shouldn't he? Like, what? I could have swore he sent more monsters. Yeah, more monsters, but not dark monsters. I could strike that. Because I kind of don't... I mean, he's going to go dark arm and pop this. This will give me a search, which I really don't care about. But I'd rather tag it out with a... a what's it called? I mean, this. I mean... I'll strike that. <sighs> 100 life points left. Yay. Dark ride. Okay. It's for a draw card. That really doesn't change much. That gives me a search, so that doesn't change much. Yeah, that's Sphinx. And I got King Golem, so, so especially I'm gonna try my mouth through my hands. So I could tag out to that. Yep. Cool. Cool. I actually legitimately might be okay. Because I can just go. Well. Dark Arm still has targets, but it doesn't matter, because I could just go Co King Golem, Hunter, then he does his effect, okay, tag out, summon Sphinx, and then Sphinx will be big, goofy, mighty, and then you'll just be like, oh fuck, can't deal with that, you know, so. Just sucks that I gotta switch my King Golem, because I kind of would like to, you know, keep King Golem there, because it's my Mates card, but. <laughs> oh, this duel, this duel has gone on for long enough. So there's really no point in you doing Dark Arm effect on this, because it doesn't do anything. Like I said, this doesn't do anything either, because it's tag out. So, I'll just chain, tag out. Uh, 
the cruiser. Cruiser again can get me if I have another dancer. I'm not even sure if I have another dancer at this point. And big daddy. 35. Sure, you're, you're just popping for the sake of popping now, aren't you? Because that's a, that's another search, my dog. That's another search. I do not have another. Actually, get me Master, because Master could pop that set card. By just sending a uh, face up chime. It doesn't have to be one of my field spells. No. <laughs> Black Dragon says no. Are you just doing play for the sake of doing plays now? Is it once per turn? It is once per turn. God damn it, Bobby. God damn it, Bobby. Oh. Do I have any more? King Golem. King Golem, I do. I have King Golem. King Golem! Alright. Yeah! Eventually! I said I was gonna win. Eventually! <laughs> Fucking 40 minute fucking video. God, that duel. That duel is a good duel now. That's a good duel. That's a struggle. I pulled through with 100 life points left. Don't even matter, dog. Cause you can't destroy my card effect. You can't attack these two. You gotta deal with this fucker. Like, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Fuck, fuck my professor. Fuck her. Like, oh my god. So, I said Friday, tomorrow, because I'm going to say, or today, that you're seeing this. I should be back by now, but I'm gonna go interview the special education teacher and write that essay, and then. I already wrote the other essay. And then I gotta do discussion posts, which are the worst because they're really, they're literally nothing to discuss on. It's like, it's like questions, and then you try to discuss on them. Like one of them was like, "What's the definition of special education?" Okay, here's the definition. What am I discussing? You know, so I don't know. Just fuck this course. Fuck this. Fuck this course. Like so much. So done. So done. I'm gonna go ahead and take my A minus or B plus. You know, I do all my work and I try, and it doesn't even fucking matter because she's just so anal about everything that she takes every opportunity to take off points. So it'll probably end up being like a B or something. But I mean, they're so desperate for teachers, let alone math teachers, that I could literally just barely scrape by and still get a job. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So now you only have seven episodes left, people. Seven. So. uh... Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels. Alright people, thanks for watching.